Hey, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. I've got a purple. How fun is that? Smith Corona Coronet 1960s. And this is not the original color. This is repainted. And um, it's a fun little machine. So let's take a look at it and do our typing demo. Uh, 10 inch carriage, so it's the smaller one. Some of these do come with a longer carriage, but this is the normal 10 inch carriage. Paper holder, margins, right here. Just put it where you want. And remember that your carriage is gonna move however far you have your margin set. So when you release the carriage, using either one of these levers, it's gonna move within your margins, okay? Nice, strong bell. I'm gonna bring that margin in. Okay, on the right side, your paper release. Left side, your line selector, which determines uh, how far you advance when you hit the return handle because when you're typing away, you hear that bell, you hit the return handle and go to the next line. All right, let's move this carriage to the left because I wanna open up this top and I can't open it if the return handle is over it. So open that up. You'll see we have a new universal ribbon inside for you, brand new. Whenever you purchase a typewriter from us, you get a new ribbon already installed in your typewriter because we want you to use your typewriter the instant you open up your box. Okay. When it's time to change out your ribbon spool, you just pull this out, pop a new one in. When you need a new typewriter ribbon, please visit our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. The link is also below in the description. Black on top, red on bottom, there is an up close picture for you and on the product listing you must use that link in the description in order to access that product link because these sell out pretty quickly um, and so if you don't have that link you can't access the photo but bookmark that photo and you can reference that whenever you need to change out your ribbon and know how to thread it properly. All right, when you get to the end of the ribbon, it's not the end of the ink, you need to manually reverse this ribbon and you do so right here. On the left side, it says rib rev for ribbon reversal, switch that and there you go. And go back and forth dozens of times before you need to change out your ribbon. Okay, let's take a look down here. Tab is right here, you set it, you clear it here, color selector for your ribbon, red, black, margin release, power switch, copy set, just determines how hard these type bars strike your paper. Let's load some paper and do some typing. Set your paper right here, turn the handle, make sure that paper goes underneath this metal bar, put that bar down, Make sure your paper is even, which it is not. So I use this paper release lever to release the tension so I can adjust my paper, re-engage, and let's turn this baby on and start typing. And oh, by the way, your electric typewriter is in fact electric, no batteries, no chargers. And in this case, you have to plug it in. So let's plug this in. Let's try that again. There you go, now it's plugged in, it's turned on. And this is a 1960s Smith Corona Coronet. I think it's just Coronet, yeah. No automatic or anything like that, very nice. Now I have this on top of a, um, oops, I hit two keys at once, of a typewriter pad. You can see that down here. Comes in handy. One with the electrics, it, it soften, it dampens the sound a bit. And also when you're typing, especially on electrics, they tend to scoot. And so um, our non-slip pads really keep that from happening. Where was I? Okay. Oops, hold on. I was getting ahead of myself there. Okay. 
So there's a couple of, um, oh, that's interesting, hold on, there we go. There are a couple of keys that are auto repeat. So one of them is this period, the another one is a dash, and then the X. And I don't know, do whatever you want with them, but those are, those are three auto repeat keys if you just hold down on them. Let's do some sentences. Every time you hear that bell, that bell is saying hit your return handle. If you do keep going, it eventually is going to stop on you. And that's what's going to happen um, when we do this next sentence. So let's turn it to red and do some more typing. Uh, hold on, sorry. I don't know what was wrong with my finger there. Okay, so now it's stopped, so I hit margin release. Okay, I just wanna double check something. was just me or what but there was a hesitation so um, on a couple letters there is a hesitation right after you hit the return handle and I can't always get it to repeat but just uh, it's happening intermittently and uh, you just have to hit it again so um, even though this is a great typewriter, it does have that one little quirk to it. And like I said, I can't get it to happen on a regular basis and it seems to only happen right after I hit the return handle. So um, I don't know how to explain it other than uh, you'll feel it. You'll feel that, that when you hit the key, it doesn't hit the paper. So you just hit it one more time and then it seems to reset itself there. So um, this would be really good for kids. Uh, I loved the feeling of it. Um, the color is really fun. It types very easily. And besides that one little occasional quirk, this is a really good typewriter. Now, if you're gonna be doing extensive writing, then this is probably not the best one for you. But if you're doing occasional writing or you're looking for something for your kids, then this is gonna be ideal. Thanks so much for watching and you all have a blessed day.